guys, welcome back to the show. Uh, meet, meet my flock. Um, we're gonna let them out because they they come flying at you. And uh, we're gonna show how we take care of them. And uh, they're big egg producers. Oh boy, they're beauties. They're kind of molting right now, which means they're losing some feathers. So they'll they might look a little little ugly but they're really beauties anyway here we go Anyway, like I said, some of them are losing their feathers. Like this little girl here. She's. That's what they do. They lose their feathers like that. They look terrible. But, boy, what an egg producer. Right? They all are. Yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you through the. The whole process of taking care of the chickens. Um, we've seen a picture of uh, on the internet of a that shape of a chicken pen. And when I was thinking about building an uh, upgrade, we had a little raggedy thing back here in the first time. And uh, I said, "Well, let me get that picture." And I printed it off and uh, just went with it and built it. And uh, you can do everything from outside of this pen. You can clean it, you can gather your eggs, all that kind of stuff. So it's uh, it's real convenient. Um, and I, I do believe everybody, if they got any kind of yard at all, and they're allowed, you ought to have a couple of chickens. Because you never know. Anyway, you know, we'll get to... We'll get to um, cleaning here in just a few minutes. So. Very good. Pizza. Chickens are pretty good. They eat anything. Uh, you know, you don't want to feed them nothing wrong. I know there's more of you than that. Yeah, we're gonna clean this up today. It's getting dirty. The beauty of it, I go no further than where we're standing right now to clean it. That's the beauty of it. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna clean it up and then I'm gonna do an egg comparison. Oh. 
got a hundred. I'm cleaning this in real time and it don't take long. That's what I love about it. sure the winds don't breathe it. Couldn't find my mask.
There's what we put in it. It's only like five dollars at Roll King, and uh, you could stretch it and get two out of it. But I usually give them a lot of give them a lot of room. And if you'll notice, I pulled it out of here. When I built this, I uh, decided I wanted to make it where I could get chicks and put them in here, and they wouldn't be eaten by snakes or other chickens and, uh, so that's why I got this self-contained it's snake proof over there on that side if the snake gets in on this side uh, that poor sucker's gonna get pecked to death I imagine They'll start singing after a bit once they once they figure this out. stuff I took out you know where that's gonna wind up it's in my compost it's gonna eventually make it to the garden you ain't gotta get too carried away they they do their own thing with it have like a party in here in a little bit.
There we go. They will enjoy that. And the, the cleaner your facilities are, the cleaner your eggs are. You don't want no diseases floating around. Yeah, but see, I got an indoor on on this uh, coop. So if you got chicks, they can, I keep feed in there when I'm not having chicks, but when I got chicks, I, I, uh, I uh, put them in here and they have everything separate from the others so they don't get harassed. I keep a uh, water bottle full of vinegar and I put, uh, a little dash in their water. I got a, I got a water thing over there, and it holds two, three gallons, something like that, maybe. More. And I just give it a dash of vinegar every time I change the water. And that keeps all the um, bugs and stuff out of it. And I heard it's good for them. I mean, I've watched the other YouTubers, and somebody was doing that. They're not very hungry or they don't like pizza. I don't know. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's head up there to the outdoor kitchen and um, let's uh, let's compare eggs. Like I said, this this would just be compost here. I'll have to load it up and take it over there where I store it. And I do it in trash cans. It speeds it up and. Um, it's, it's good stuff. I mean, people pay money for it. I'm not. All right. We're doing the egg test. I've done it one in one other video, but, you you know, people don't watch every video. So, um, this is a uh, egg grown here. Hatched or laid, I mean. It was laid probably this morning early. Um, let me get okay. That's a nice one. This is store bought egg. It may be good, I don't know. Every one I've seen from the store though, it's I'm just doing a random test. Ain't too bad for store-bought. But you can tell the difference. The, um, anyway, the yellow is more yellow. The clear is more clear. But actually that one ain't too bad. Usually they're really milky. All right, so anyway, I think I've told it all about the chickens. Um, they're, uh, they're good to have when, when things get tight. I mean, you're, you always have eggs to eat. Uh, a bag of feed, uh, Rule King, like $10, last a good month, but the main thing is you, you repurpose all your, you know how much garbage you throw away? Old bread and stuff like that, crackers, anything. You throw it to your chickens, they'll eat it and turn it into a delicious egg and it don't cost you anything to make that egg. So, I don't know. I know times are really tough. Every time you go to the grocery store, it's over $100 and you didn't even put nothing in the cart. So anything I can do to help save you money that's what we do here. Cliff saves you money. Anyway, uh, hope you have a great day. Um, so got my shirt on here to support the 
day. So the veterans, it's the only one I got with a flag on it. But anyway, have a good day. Cliff out. Oh, baby girl.